Hi, back to the party. Yes, it's very exciting. We're so glad to see you live. Well, I'm even happier to see you. We appreciate you so much. So, since we have back to the roots, we would love for you to share like, one of your favorite oils or harvesting stories or something that people would like to know. You know what? My very first memory of harvesting clary sage in St. Mary's. Gary had gone into Spokane and I was with his sister and his nieces and we were cutting it by hand, you know, with those... Uh -huh. Oh, wait. Well, <laughs> Clipper thingies? Clippers, yeah. And then we were putting the clipped clary sage on a tarp. And when it got so full that we would drag the tarp up to the top, you know, down the aisle. And then we would lift the tarp up on the back of the truck. And then when we would drive it over the distillery, then we had to fork it out of the truck. <laughs> And it was like a hundred degrees. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hard. Oh, I asked myself, what have I got myself into? <laughs> like, go a little left, go a little right. Oh Are my goodness gracious. That's when it was really hard. Wow. You guys have so many great stories. Thank yeah, you so much for sharing. Go. Hi, this is Robin, the Oily Wiz, and... Dr. Ben Perkis. <laughs> and we're and? his wifey Lane. <laughs> nice to meet you. We're, we're stalking them. Behind yep. the house. <laughs> and uh, we saw Dr. Perkis speak yesterday, so that's really cool. So tell us about, just like very briefly, what you talked about yesterday. The Aroma Freedom Technique. Uh, I'm a psychologist, and I found a way to integrate psychology with essential oils that everyone can use on themselves and others. That's awesome. So he was telling us that he went to the Skyrider um, men's retreat with Gary. So tell us about that. It was amazing. It was in 2017, just the year before he passed away. And uh, there were just a hundred of us men in, in uh, the ranch with him for the weekend. There was lots of training. And then he also took us out on wilderness activities, took us out on, on the horses, and fire went, walk. and we did fire walk. Oh, and fire it was walk magnificent. Too. And, uh, you know, he told us stories that we'll just treasure forever. Tell us your favorite story. You know, he told us a story about when he was a kid, and his father... He wanted to develop the land that his father had. He was a little kid, and he said, "Hey, Dad, let's kind of maybe we could make cabins and we could do retreats here." He was a little kid, and his father said no because his father he had lost some money on a like a, a sheep uh, investment or something, and he was nervous about it. So that really touched me because ever since he was a little kid, he's always wanted to build things for others to come to. And uh, I had no idea of that, so that was just a beautiful uh, story. I'll always remember that. Story. Tell like a quick story of like a couple things you did with Iana to help her stay healthy when she was young. Yes, oh please. Goodness. Yes, yeah, yes. Well, we started her on the Ninja Red Juice at age one, <gasps> and also we used to have power meal. It was a it was a protein powder. We mixed it up in a paste kind of type thing, and uh, and we would all eat that with with her. You know, like this. Wow. The, yeah, and we would sometimes put Ninja Red in it to make it more flavorful. All those little tricks we had to keep her really healthy. We, that is so amazing, and she's so lucky. This is Robin going back to our roots. Oh, well, yeah, well, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with Jacob Young, and we are so excited to see you. Uh, that was a tremendous, tremendous performance. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you, first of all, um, are the Battle of the Bros, how's that going? I'm losing right now, unfortunately. <laughs> what? So enjoy probably oh. the last toss toss ever. So, so, can you tell um, them, for, maybe they don't know what Battle of the Bros is really quick? So, Battle of the Bros is a fundraiser for the Young Living Foundation. My brother and I started back in 2019. We wanted to raise funds for the foundation with all the amazing products that we have going on. Whoever can raise the most money gets to shave the other person's head. And I won in 2019, so I got to shave Joseph's head. Aww. So, for this year, we're doing a round two, a redemption round for Joseph. But what makes it even more exciting this year is my mom has joined the battle. Mary Young's joined the battle. So if she raised more funds than Joseph and I combined, she gets to shave both our heads. <laughs> so you can go to the website, www.younglivingfoundation.org. It's the main page right there. You can team, team Jacob, team Joseph, team Mary. If I win, I told everybody I'd grow my hair out even more for Battle of the Bros 3 and donate it, because unfortunately it's an inch too short right now. That's awesome. So I would, I would love to donate it. So 
That's what cool. that's what's going on. One more question about your podcast. Yes. Um, so tell me what your favorite thing is about doing the podcast, and tell them what the podcast is. Yeah. So the podcast is the YL Drop. It's Young Living's official podcast, hosted by me. We just hit our one year anniversary. Twenty three episodes, and we have four hundred thousand unique individual listeners across the globe. Um, my favorite part about the podcast is that I've got to meet some extraordinary people and I've known these people my entire life and some I've never met before but even though I've grown up through Young Leaven and heard as many stories as you can think of there's always some stories I never heard of before and it always just it's a great surprise it's a really fun and entertaining surprise and just the the vast knowledge that we share on the podcast that you can get in a lot of places but it's just so well put together on that podcast is what I think we've done the best at. So that's awesome. You Can you ask about the favorite oil? Just Thank you. Oh yeah, what's your favorite oil Holy today? Cow, that's today. It's back to the oh today. Yeah. Well, today I'm wearing highest potential. Oh. It was my father's favorite blend, and every day I put it on. It's it's my go-to cologne for the day. Uh, it really helps you achieve your highest potential, as it says in the name. So that is my go-to oil every single day. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Thank, Thank you. you. This Thank is you. Julie. Going back to the roots. This is Robin, the oily whiz. Evelyn Sohan. Okay. She's going to tell us her healing story. Yay. In um, 2018, my daughter introduced me to Ninja. And for one full year, I took one to two ounces every day faithfully. In 2019, she brought me to Young Living, and I got so excited. And her and her friend were shocked that I could keep up with them. It improved my health so much in the last few years with all the products that they have. That so August 20, 2021, I went back to work full time. I'm 68 years old. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So awesome. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Julie Atwell, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with Sarah Harnish, and I'm so excited to just be next to you and feel your energy. Um, this girl has been on my prayer every single day. You are a warrior. You are a godsend. I don't know how you are able, when you are going through everything you're going through, to still pour out onto everybody. So my question is what is your regimen every day to like still be able to pour and boast and do all the things and share and love well you don't want to know that now because I'm doing all the hope for cancer uh, regimen so it takes me about five hours a day uh, to get through everything there's about two and a half hours of supplements and then every day I fight cancer with uh, light heat sound and oxygen and then immunotherapy diet Know, all juicing, all the things that, that you guys hear about and read about. But it's been a really interesting four months. But you know what? I know 100% that God can heal this, 100%. And so the night before I went to surgery, I was like, all right, God, this would be this would be a good time to like make this just disappear. They took a tumor out that was 14 centimeters. So I went from hip to hip and belly button to my spine. Um, and he didn't. He hasn't yet, you know. And so I realized that sometimes the Lord leaves you in the trial because he has a purpose for it. So I can choose to walk in joy through through what he's got for me, or I can have a complaining spirit and be begrudging and angry about being in pain and hurting, and I just don't choose that because I know that he can heal me any second he chooses to. So I choose not to walk in fear and not to walk in anxiety, but just to trust him a thousand percent. So I got out of surgery and they wanted me to do seven weeks of radiation. And I said no, <laughs> um, and went down to Hope for Cancer in Tijuana, and I just got out six days ago. So wow. I still, I still have my port. There you go. So well, they have my head, but they have it my port. Yeah, it's and amazing. she's at convention. She's at the Twenty Two <laughs> Convention. I'm astounded, and still loving on people, and be willing to. Uh, pour into people so I'm so incredibly grateful um, when I interviewed uh, you like six years ago um, you said don't put God in a box and so mm -hmm. that brings in my um, head every single day um, to keep going and through you I've just got so much um, inspiration to just keep going I mean because mm -hmm. my tough day is nothing compared to like wow. what you're doing so, you know, and there are people you. out there whose tough days are much worse than my tough days you know I've, I've gotten so much hope just being at a convention and hearing people's stories but my word being here it's actually two words um, being here and when I spoke over my team here at convention was just show up 
to show up. You know, we're we're in a bricklaying season right now where we had you we were used to having classes with 10 12 15 people in them people would come to us now we're coming out of the out of the pandemic we've got to get people to, to show up again and get them to come out of their houses and break fear break a spirit of fear and um, break a spirit of you know the poverty you know and we do that just by being present and being the hands and feet of Christ and washing people's feet and finding what they need and you know so maybe your leader has been clocked out and lost two ranks I don't pick up the phone and be like hey why have you lost two ranks I pick up the phone and say what do you need girl what do you need do you need me to come do a raindrop on you do you need do you need some emotional release like how can I be there for you no judgment no strings attached I just want you to know I care about you and your friendship with me is here and the business is here like that's that's what matters most to me is that you're whole and you're okay and you start from that place and the people that you had that face time with it's amazing they just start to show up they're showing up at convention. They're showing up on your trainings. You know, your leaders will come back. So I, I said in game plan, no now is not no forever, right? And I believe that. I really do believe that. Even as we're sitting on the very edge of a recession here, I think it's a temporary thing. I think that it, it, it's going to bounce back pretty quickly. You know, but but just show up. You know, show up with no expectations. Don't show up thinking I need what I had three years ago. You start think two ranks back. So, you know, if you're a silver executive senior star, start working like you were working when you were a senior star. If you are a senior star, start working like you had no business at all. What did you do right when you first started? It was the very first place that you began, and that's the place that you start. And those actions that you did then, you do them now. And the Lord will restore what the locusts have taken. Right? He'll restore it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate it. This is Julia. Welcome back to our roots. Hi, this is Robin. Boiling Liz with Doug Siler. And we are in the market of convention, so we have Deb here and asked her to Deb. Why did you start? So actually, my daughter got me into it. My daughter was playing the heart defect, and after she had her second open heart surgery, she got a cowbell, and she had some really bad stomach issues, and she's had asthma since she was a baby. And so she was looking for ways to cut medication, how to heal her body naturally. So we went to a class on one snowy January day, and so we both signed up, and we have never turned back. Wow, that is so cool. All right, this is Robin bringing us back to our roots. Hey, this is Robin, the oily whiz with Allie Raskin. And where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. So we're still in the market at the convention. And Allie, what is your story? How did you start oiling? I started oiling, actually, it started for me with nutrition first. I had a very, very sick baby that I was very frustrated when Western medicine was not helping me. So I started studying natural health and um, reconnected with a friend of mine who was also very interested in healing her body. And we started traveling to holistic health like conferences together. She had just started using oils and told me about them. And I started using Young Living, trusted her. She was my very good friend. Purchased the starter kit, was having crazy, miraculous things happen with it. I actually was in high tech for 18 years in it, as an executive in a high tech, huge, multi billion dollar high tech. Crown Diamond Income is what I was doing then, um, and my um, I had such crazy results and started just oiling people up with, with out of my handbag as like a little apothecary because like my kids were toddlers at the time, um, and healed my son for the oils, but then really like started to get into the oils as I realized we were having all these miracles happen, and um, I accidentally started making some money and thought, well, this is way more fun than my corporate job. I get to help people every day and not sell my soul. And so um, I started sharing Young Living about eight or nine months after I started using it. And so uh, the nutrition, you know, Mary always talks about, like, it starts with nutrition. Absolutely. It's really funny as I thought that people who were really interested in nutrition could get really into oils. But what's happened is I found that the oils are a gateway to teaching people about nutrition. So either way, we get to help people all the ways, right? That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. This is Robin, going back to our roots. Hi, this is Julie Abel, the Ninja Oiler. I am here with the Doc Ollie. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Let me connect to your table. Okay. Okay. Well, so, uh, hi to Orlando, right? Yes. Here you're all in Orlando. So I love Orlando. I mean, I've been there 
quite a few times and uh, I was dealing with the NFL for a while and the NBA and so we were I was consulting for nutritional uh, supplements for them so anyway what, yeah. did, what did you do for them oh I consulted with some supplements uh, okay. that they do better athletics so I have been into doping free performance enhancement for quite a while and so one of the first thing when I kind of came to Young Living is like uh, they gave me a catalog and said what's missing and I said I don't see anything kind of sports energy drink that is healthy I mean not that they did an unhealthy one but I didn't see anything so then uh, Gary started creating Nitro that awesome. was about that year yeah and uh, after that Zinc came and uh, now there's other things that uh, provide like power, power meal that we just launched right I'm so excited about that one. Oh, it's just awesome. I mean, the three new products, I mean, I'm going to talk tomorrow on Big Stage about that, but it's just a philosophy of getting back the power of nature into us, right? It's like we, we, when it comes to supplement, we often just look at individual things, and people don't realize how well they go together. Like I'm always saying, do you take Illuminize, for example, when you're young living? And most people say, yeah, I bought it, you know, when it was like the convention like a few years ago and that never took it again because it's for the eye and I have glasses and sunglasses. I said, this is not the thing. It's a holistic product. It's for your eyes, for your brain, it's for your skin, it's for so much more. And now I'm using it also for women, especially who lose their hair after COVID. You know, we, we mix uh, lavender. I mean, they take uh, um, sulfazyme and, and, and of course then life nine probiotics because of the connection but then also illuminize and then we do lavender oil as um, we do cedarwood we do peppermint we do rosemary I mean all these things huge difference huge difference right what's your favorite oil today what are you wearing what I'm wearing okay. so today let's see what I have in my pockets today right all so right. that's always a good trick so ah, nice. all right I have teeth oh, uh, yeah. and sanitizer in my nice. pocket so that's one thing I mean this is completely unprepared because what? I have no idea so I have copaiba in my nice. pocket Okay. So, and then I have peace and calming in my nice. yeah, so I I, it. And then I have a few more in this bag, right? Awesome. So, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. Well, that is great. Do you have a favorite Gary Mary that uh, Gary story that is a, a short story? I mean, I'm sure there, you have a gazillion. Yeah, a gazillion. I mean, we lived for almost three years together. And uh, so, of course, <laughs> the story adding up, I mean, from CBD to mm -hmm. all this. But, um, okay. Gary and I, we spent quite some time up in Skyrider, right? Uh, the two of us. I mean, we just there, were there for weeks at the time, and then Mary came on the weekend with, with the boys, which are now adults, right? <laughs> and so I said, you know, I mean, all these days, from morning to evening, I'm together with Gary again, right? I mean, besides doing kind of funny stuff in the ranch, you know, with the animals, and I just said, Gary, you know, we're here the whole day. Why don't you teach me? Why don't you just pass on your knowledge? And you know, I know you can keep some secrets, but you know, just start teaching me a little bit more because. I'm coming from a different way and you know for about a year he's just telling me no you're not ready no you're not ready and we're just together right all day long and I said I want to make a video no you're not ready you're not ready and and so the big discussion was that I always told him Gary you cannot go on stage and say that there's no <laughs> science proving this right and Whenever I said that, I said, yeah, you see, you're not ready, right? <laughs> and so one day, out of the blue, he said, let's go down to the barn, let's do a video. And I said, oh, what changed? He looks at me, don't you realize it? You're ready. <laughs> and so, yeah, this was the whole story. And then, and then, you know, it turns out that when I told him that when he said, you don't need to know an oil, you just need to take it and the body will know what to do with it. I didn't catch it, right? I just didn't. Coming from modern medicine, you need to know what things do. But he said, no, you don't. You just need to take it and the body will know what to do. So finally, after about a year, it clicked. We are full of receptors and these oils go to several receptors. And you, of course, you don't need to know what they do because they will go to the receptor whether you know what they do or not. Yeah. And when he saw that I kind of was going through that thinking, he just said, now you're ready. And then for over a year, we were just like every day, we were blending stuff, we were doing stuff, we were creating new products. And there's a bunch of products you have never seen that, you know, in the notebooks. I mean, I have like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Mary has all the notebooks, but I have plenty of pictures of the notebooks because we did stuff together and we wrote it. And then when it was in my house, the notebook was too small. So I had to get like a big, you know, like a piece of paper that you kind of flip over. And we were just sitting there in my TV room and just making notes and notes and I was bringing research and he was bringing it and 
like one of the products is Cardiogize came okay. about like that and so all the CBD products we created like eight nine years ago in my TV room and many more that you have never seen because you know CBD took another direction through Nature's Ultra and so on came back that way yeah. so anyway many many stories so that's awesome many many memories thank you so much thank for sharing you. and sharing your heart and we just love you and we're a huge fan so thank you for what you pour into all of us well, hi to Orlando awesome. I'll, I'll be back one day hey this is Robin the oily whiz with Lori Bori <laughs> Yes, we just accidentally saw her. It's the end of the day, and we were about to leave, and we just decided to look around, and we had a surprise. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Hi. 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 The first oil that you use. Peppermint. Like Peppermint. So, uh, my son had had surgery recently, and then he came around the corner in my house saying, my head's exploding. I'm dying. I think I'm having brain hemorrhaging. And I had not used any oils, but I looked up in my cabinet, and there was this bottle of peppermint, and I thought... Maybe that would, I said, here, just put that on somewhere. <laughs> and I called the doctor, and the doctor said, oh, yeah, we're going to have to call on a prescription. But he rounded the corner and said, no, I'm good, thanks. And that's since awesome. that's not a diagnosis, exploding head is not a diagnosis. Very good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So he said, no, I'm good. And I thought, wait a minute here. What's a little bottle of oil going to do? That is a great, great story. Thank you. So, um, <clears throat> we love hearing people like how they started. And do you have a memory, a favorite memory of convention or Gary or Mary that you'd like to share? Um, so, my first cruise with Young Living was to the Mediterranean cruise, and Gary was there, and Mary was there. Yeah. And we were on Santorini Island, and I spotted Gary and Mary from a distance. And I, Mary was over here, and Gary was over here. And so I stood between them, and my husband was taking pictures, and I went. <laughs> but he saw me, Gary saw me, and he came running over, and he grabbed me, and he hugged me, and he was on the phone, one hand on the phone, and the other one. So I know exactly what was going on in that phone call. He was talking to Croatia, and yeah, and they were they were putting in like underground water tunnels or something like that and he was telling them how he knows that they are just going to do a really good job and he's sorry to have to make them get up that early but he knew that they were going to do a fantastic job and i'm going to find this gary photo for you there awesome oh really here it is yeah <gasps> no uh -uh. oh my, God. Yeah. Oh my word yeah. that is it's amazing awesome. there it is and then i saw them later on the cruise and i was talking with them he and mary and I said, I'm that crazy woman that you hugged on Santorini Island. And he said, I didn't know you were a distributor. I just thought you were pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. So we had a good laugh. That's really, really funny. That's really funny. So before, so can you explain um, just summary like your book? Sure, sure. Uh, this is the quintessential non-sales sales book for the quintessential non-network marketing network marketing company. Wow. And what I hear a lot from people is you radically changed the way I think about sales and you gave me confidence. I know now how to talk to people, I know what to say, I know what to ask, and I am enrolling people that I never would have enrolled before. So that's what I'm hearing. Wow. Thank you so much. What's it called? Can you it's hold it? It's called The Harvest. Yay. And I Love wrote it because Marcella told me to. Yay! Great. Okay. <clears throat> All right, this All right. is Robin bringing us back to the roots. Okay. Hey, this is Julie Apple and the Ninja Oiler, and here with Dr. Lynn. Um, thank you so much for taking time to speak to us today. Do you have a favorite story of Gary? It's hard to say. I mean, every single story or the every. I mean, he always, sometimes, a lot of times, he stop in the field and pick up a plant. And he turned around and told me what kind of research I can do. Awesome. Interesting. And just smell it. Wow. The That's so cool. That is so cool. Do you have a favorite oil? I research frankincense oil. The reason I research frankincense oil is because they provide very unique functionality, which I want to study. Right? Uh, it doesn't mean the functionality is not present in all other oil because, as I said earlier, what Gary gave to me was a 13 different oil. And the reason I picked something because that fit my research interest. Okay. And since then, I realized that frankincense essential oil does do a lot of work. 
a lot of work, but you're beyond our imagination. And I keep telling people that might be the reason why Frankenstein or Frankenstein was showing in the Bible. So yes. I know it's mentioned. And really quickly, so as a chief scientist, what's the favorite part of your job every day? Um, I think we have carry Gary's mission. And there are a lot of other things we need to do because there are a lot of things he did was not able to accomplish before he passed. So we are picking up the way he left the work and move nice. forward. I think we have a lot of work to do. And I hope before I expire, <laughs> have somebody who can take over as we well. continue doing work. Great. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Lim, for all your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Are you going to make a song cut? Oh, yes. Uh, this is Julie Atwell, the Ninja Oiler, going back to our roots. <laughs> Hi, this is Robin, the Oily Whiz with Corey DeVries. And we are here at convention. I wanted to say thank you for talking to us. It's my pleasure. She's my <laughs> royal crown diamond. She got honored this week. And we were honored to see her. Thank you. It was so awesome. Thank you guys for being Because here. you give so much to us. You're so amazing. <laughs> so amazing. She has so much information in her head and such commitment to inspiring us to live healthy. Just do so much. So. Because it's the Roots and Waste Convention, yes. can you share with us um, how you started using essential oils? Yeah. So um, I was thinking about that today because somebody on stage was talking about your first experience with Young Living. Was that Ben? I don't remember for sure, but wanted us to really stop and think about it for a little bit. And my first experience with Young Living was um, Thieves Hand Sanitizer. I was at a homeschool group with some friends and I was pregnant with our third child. I had to stop and think about it. <laughs> and I was super nauseated and everything bugged me. The smell of everything, except my friend pulled out her thieves hand sanitizer and the cinnamon smell in it calmed my stomach. And so I said, I wanted to know what that scent was. And I signed up for Young Living just for the hand sanitizer. That was all I wanted. I went to an Oils of the Bible class not long after that. I did not like the smell of any of the oils at the time because they were very different. And I was still used to synthetic scents. But I love the hand sanitizer. But then I ended up, I bought the basic kit with like lavender and peppermint and my hand sanitizer. And I ended up going back and buying all the oils from the premium starter bundle. So... I'll throw a tip in if you're getting anybody started. The bundles are still where it's at. So that was my first experience with the Living. That is yeah. amazing. Was that with Carrie? Yeah. Was Carrie? And the, Carrie was the one that came and taught the oils of the Bible class, but it was with a friend who is a member in Carrie's timeline. Yeah. That is so, so awesome. Yeah. And can you share with us, because I'm sure you've been on a trip where Gary and Mary were at, yeah. maybe your favorite memory of one of them? Sure. So I actually have not, I have yet to go on any of the diamond trips, any of the rank retreats. My husband has been on all of those. Because <laughs> I, I sent him and he, that's cool though, because um, I was always nursing or pregnant or whatever, <laughs> all the babies. Um, but he has had my son in Ecuador. My son was able to go and play table tennis and soccer with our sponsor children and meet them. And he swung from vines on the farm and collected frogs from the ponds. And that's not even my memory, but it's one of my, I have a picture of him swinging on a vine, like Tarzan. Aww. And that, that he was little like that makes me, he got to experience that. Um, and my daughter has been on the Mediterranean cruise. She's been to Spain with my husband. They've been to the Sistus farm. They've been, I don't even know how many farms, um, just all over the place. And that's a, that's a big deal. For myself, um, Gary came up to Alaska and ran the Testamina 200 dog sled race a few years ago. And we were able to have, it was Joseph's birthday. And so we had a birthday dinner with Mary and Gary and Joseph and Ben was there and um, spent some time with Ben and the corporate team and just all of them. It really is truly family. We were treated like family. You never felt like you were the underdog when Gary was around. And what I really remember, he also, Gordon was able to go out to the um, to the ranch and have do the men's retreat. And he told Gary our story of our son, which you've probably heard. Our son was vaccine injured as a child and we did everything for him. And Valor was the game changer. Valor, after I, and I'm so teary, I don't know if I can talk about this, but um, I started using Valor on him within a couple of weeks. He came up to me for the first time ever and said, I love you, mom. And, um, he had never just given me a hug 
just randomly or said I love you just randomly. And when Gordon told Gary that story, Gary cried. He, he said everything aside to listen and he cried. And um, that was Gary. When we had dinner with him, he didn't want to talk about money. He didn't want to talk about business. He wanted to talk about the Northern Lights Farm and how to get the best um, black spruce oil, Northern Lights black spruce. He always wanted to talk about the farms and how to help people. Always. That I never heard him talk with the aim of money. When he said, you know, purpose over profit, he meant it. I saw him live that. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, this is Robin. <laughs> So back to our room. Hey, it's Juliette with the Ninja Whaler, and I'm here with Chris Opfer, and I'm so excited to see you. Good I have to see a, you guys. I have a question for you. Yeah. When you um, moved from your hotshot lawyer job and stepped into Young Living, um, was, was it scary? And was it like, did you envision that you would be able to be successful in that new realm? That's a great question. So I think. So scary is a, it's a relative term, right? So when you come from being a prosecutor and you prosecute anything from theft to homicide, right? It's a, um, I didn't get a lot of stage fright, we'll say, but it's different, right? And I think that when we think about this business, there, so you may not know this, maybe you do. So our brain processes fear and joy in the same spot, same part of our brain. So. It literally lights up the same way, processes in the same way. Okay. So anytime we have any fear at all, we have to make sure we shift it over into joy. Right? And one of the biggest, I think, joys in this business is that we really get to help people. We genuinely get to help people, and it's it's about optimizing, right? We talk about wellness, purpose, and abundance in Young Living. And uh, Ben was just talking about that, if y'all are watching the yeah. convention. And when I think of abundance, so money's great, right? Money also comes and goes. Um, you can spend it once and that's it. But when we think of abundance, it's that abundance of time. It's that abundance of resources. It's that abundance of joy that we get to find. And I love helping people. That's actually why I became a prosecutor. I genuinely wanted to help victims. I wanted to help our community. I wanted to help defendants. I wanted to help everybody. And so when we think about you know any sort of transition, so if you're on that verge, maybe transitioning into this business in some way and you have any sort of fear, you need to transition into joy, what I encourage you to think about is how do I optimize what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. And optimization isn't buying the most expensive thing or doing the biggest thing. It's what's optimal for this situation. And that's what we get to do in this business. And it just incorporates the wellness purpose and abundance. And it just kind of all ties in together. So fear and joy, that's how we think about it. That's so that's awesome. cool. One more question. Yeah. So we both have kids that are like, oh, mom, whatever. And <laughs> how was it that your mom was able to be so impactful on you that you changed your career to do what she was doing as well? It's a great question. So I, so again, my mom enrolled in 94. Um, our original member number was 1236, and there was 1,235 wow. people before us. <laughs> so uh, it was pretty small back then. But I think for me, so I literally, I was raised with this, right? My mom has now been in natural medicine for 47 years. Um, so she, you know, when I think about optimization, wellness, purpose, and abundance too, there's that empowerment component. So she empowered me, like a lot of my chores growing up were like licking envelopes, right? And putting stamps on packages. And so, um, but she would like, so if we did an event, she would give me a section of that event to teach. She would involve me. So even like with yeah, so even like with my boys, if I'm doing a Facebook Live and they come into the room, I'll say, Hey, you know, Oliver, what's your favorite oil? Why do you like it? What do you put on before you go to bed? And it's that incorporation versus, hey, you have to do this, versus like, you know, hey, you're gonna you're a part of this. This is a family business. I used to come in, I mean, I remember coming to my first convention, much, much smaller than this, right? I think we're talking maybe four hundred people. I was in the back packing boxes and I actually enjoyed it because I felt like I was part of something. And that's that's what a lot of business is about. That's what Young Living is about. If you feel like you're part of this, it's not you're not dragging somebody to it because then if you're part of it, you want it to succeed. You want to embrace it. You want to enjoy it. And uh, so that's really, I think, probably how she did it. Oh, okay. yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, for converting fear into joy, best oil. So, I'm a big fan of Valor in general if you're looking for a single oil. But there's Gary's Great Day Protocol. You guys heard of that one? Yeah. The four oils. 
their blends, Harmony, Joy, uh, White Angelica, and uh, Valor. Okay, and you know, there's a specific protocol on how you put it on, just get them on your body, right? That's the most important thing. Because a lot of times it's just a matter of, of changing that mindset. And what happens when we're in fear, right? Think about historically and throughout, you know, human's existence, fight or flight. That's what we stay in, right? It can help us pull out of that. And so when we're in fight or flight, our brain doesn't work. So it kind of can help you, you know, be a little more grounded. Some people actually like grounding, but those are well, the four oils or valors by itself. Awesome. Thank you for spending Thank you yeah, so much. It's my pleasure. This is Julie Atwell. Going back to this is Robin the Oily Wiz with... Marin Bryce. And what do you do for Young Living? I am the executive director of the D. Gary Young Young Living Foundation. Wow, that's a big job. <laughs> it is. And so what drew you to Young Living? I have always been in the nonprofit world. It's my heart. And when I found out about what Young Living is doing and their foundation, I mean, who wouldn't want to be involved in this, right? Right. Yeah. So that's what I was drawn to, the, all the good they are doing. And since I have come, I have just learned more and more and just really gotten more and more excited about what we're doing. That's cool. Are you? Do you have a favorite of all the different projects? I uh, used to teach at a university and I taught women's studies. So women's enterprise is probably my favorite, but I love that all, every program helps women. And even if it's not specifically for that, that's what we're doing but also that we're helping families and men and children. I mean, it's amazing. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite oil? I do. Actually, it's, I have a favorite oil and I have a favorite oil blend. My favorite oil blend is called, let me get it right, Sacred Mountain. Oh, nice. I love it. I love it. It helps me sleep and I just love it. And my favorite oil, hmm, it's actually a little harder, but cedarwood. Oh, wow. And the combination of Cedarwood and Sacred Mountain, oh, I'm yes. going to try that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> well, we thank you for talking to us. Of course. Thank you. This is Robin bringing us back to the roots. This is Julia Well, the Ninja Oiler, and I am here with Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. Yes. It is so good to see you. We saw you yesterday. You were at the Carry International. Um, you are the CEO. What is, what is your title and what do you do with Carry International? Uh, well, they call me Executive Director. I'm also a certified care instructor. Oh. So that means I teach all of the um, care curriculum. Raindrop, Vitaflex, Emotional Release, Chemistry of Essential Oils, and a History of Anointing and Laying on of Hands, which formerly known as Healing Oils, the Bible. Uh, and so... Uh, but I, I do some of the administration there. So we have somewhere around 80 certified instructors that also teach the same curriculum. Wow. And uh, a lot of people take the courses just for the education because we can say a lot of things that you can't say maybe in your classes that, uh, you know, FDA, things like that come into play. Uh, but we can, we can really give you a thorough education in the oils and in raindrop and the way that Gary Young taught raindrop back in the year 2000. And uh, so it's a very complete technique. We limit our classes to 10 students per instructor so that you get personal attention from that instructor on your techniques. If you're not bite flexing quite right and things, it'll help you along with that until you get it right. And, uh, and some people go beyond just getting the education and go to become certified raindrop technique specialists, or they become certified care instructors. I love it. So where do people find these classes? Are they all over? Do they do them virtually? How do, how do, you, how do you do these classes? Yeah, so they're all hands-on classes. Uh, we don't do them virtually, but you can find them at our website, raindroptraining.com. Okay. And um, you go on the care calendar there. The up, the, there's going to be some updates to make to our website, but currently you just go to the care calendar and you can view by location, see if there's anything in your area. Or you can go to the care uh, instructor directory on there and contact any of our instructors directly or contact the office and we can guide you to an instructor that might be able to come travel to your area or just go travel to one wherever. A lot of people travel hundreds, thousands of miles even just to go to a care class. So always do that. So we, we saw him the other day. He was working at his booth 
with all the books. And his uh, father is Dr. David Stewart, and I'm a huge, huge fan. And he probably thought that we were crazy, but we were like sure. so excited um, to talk to talk to him because um, what is kind of your earliest memory with your dad as far as um, wellness is concerned? Gosh, I mean, of course they were. Uh, my mom and dad were always part early on of the uh, Knapsack International, which was a home birth, natural childbirth movement wow. back and started back in the 70s and, and even a little before that. Uh, so, you know, I've got those memories, but they got involved with essential oils in the late 90s. And I joined up with, um, joined up as a member of Young Living back in 98. So, um, and actually my dad wasn't really on board with the oils at first. My mom was, she found them and was kind of trying to talk to him about it. And then he went to get, um, or she wanted to go to this talk by this guy named Gary Young. He was going to be in St. Louis. And uh, we're about two hours from there. And she talked him into that. And he, was, you know, he said, well, I just decided to be a good husband and go along with her. And didn't really think much of it. But he had kind of this vision while he was watching Gary talk. Of all these different, um, all, just all these different aspects of Gary while he was watching him talk. And then he realized at that that he was going to be teaching about oils someday. Oh my God! But he didn't know anything about them. So that I, that yeah. is amazing, and I do love I love his book, uh, The Chemistry of Essential Oils. And I was actually uh, reading the forward that he wrote, um, and then he wrote to your mom too. It was so beautiful. Um, so I mean, growing up in such a wellness household, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Was it? Was it? Just what was your experience on a day-to-day -day basis? Was it oils? Was it we have you know different techniques? We're going to you know work on those techniques or yeah. Well, so I was already moved out in, in my twenties when they got involved with oils, so I didn't really experience that in childhood. But I did. Uh, now I had my oldest, who's going to be twenty-four tomorrow. Uh, he, you know, he was he was a baby at the time when uh, we got started in oils. So I would call my mom and say, "Hey, he's got a runny nose," and she'd say, "Well, I've got some oil called Thieves, you know, or RC or whatever." So I would steal her oils. <laughs> and then uh, eventually she said, "But you know, maybe you ought to get your own oils." And so yeah. I, yeah. So I I wrote out a the form and faxed it in to Young Living. <laughs> there was no charge for it back then. You didn't get a kit or anything. I love it. Yeah, so that was my first experience with it. I would just ask her what I need to do, where I need to put it, and then um, yeah, maybe a year or, or so into it, they started going to some things that Young uh, Young Living was doing, teaching about Vitaflex and stuff. And I was their first raindrop guinea pig. What? And, yeah, oh so my was, gosh! I guess that was the year two thousand, and uh, so. That is so so that was neat. I have no idea what raindrop was at the time. Right. They just said, get on the table and we're going to do this thing called raindrop. And they were whispering to each other, I think this is still this way. I don't know. <laughs> and they were kind of arguing did Gary back. do it on you or your parents? Oh, no, it was my parents. Yeah, yeah no, no. Gary didn't do it. But I did, do, uh, I did participate in a vibrational raindrop on Gary uh, years later. That was in 2010. Wow. With the tuning forks. Yeah. When uh, Dr. Christy Bonds developed that technique. And so I was part of the group that she wanted to get. Gary's approval on the technique. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. What because is your favorite? Oh, I'm so go ahead. sorry. No, go. What is your favorite part about being in charge of hair? My favorite part? Well, I, I love working with the instructors. They're, they're all we we tend to get the cream of the crop, not to say, uh, of the people that are involved with the oils. They're just all such good, loving, caring people. They care about the students. Um, and uh, yeah, just being a part of the whole raindrop culture. The emotional release and stuff. I love teaching. I I also teach the the advanced emotional release, the advanced Bible oils. I love uh, I love teaching those too. Nice. It's, it's lots of fun. So. That is awesome. We use raindrop in our um, house all the time. Um, that's the time that my kids will allow me to like put oils on them. So yeah. I absolutely love. It's a huge blessing. Um, and I love the healing oils in the Bible. That is like one of my favorite. Um, classes and um, we just so appreciate you what you are giving to the world and carrying on the mission. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. This is Julie Atwell going back to our roots. Hey, this is Julie Atwell, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with Ed Daly, and I'm so excited to be able to speak with you. Um, we heard you talk. Um, yeah, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yes. Yesterday. 
Um, can you tell, now you have a long history with Young Living, long history with wellness. What started you? What was the trigger that started you with wellness? Well, having been a nurse now for almost 30 years, when I was taking care of people in the hospital, the one thing that really stood out to me was that there was just a basic lack of care on their personal level. So the food they eat, not managing your stress well, not taking quality supplements. And so when I started going down that road, getting involved in yoga, getting involved in you know, my own personal stress management, making sure that I was eating quality food, it was a big game changer for me. And I, it, was, it was front and center every day to see that these people were not living healthy lives. And they were, as I'd say, stepping on landmines. And so I was just committed to not becoming one of them and making sure that I was taking great care of myself because, as you probably know, being in the healthcare profession, it is really, it's, it's, you're not really given the tools to take care of yourself. And so I was just very cognizant and mindful that I was not going to let that happen myself. It's, it's really now just giving people the tools to stay healthy and strong. So this is Doc Holly was talking about our wonderful new convention products and nature greens and intercollins. And, and it's just a great way to give the body and the mind the support that it needs. Awesome. What is your favorite oil today? Um, the one in my pocket, which is high potential. <laughs> Awesome. That was Jacob's Oil. He said, yeah, we went to the farm. That's awesome. Well, thank you for spending the time. We really do appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Juliet Well, going back to our Robin the Oily Wiz with Jody Mestad. Very excited. Here we are at convention, and we saw her name that she was speaking. I got very excited because I've read both of her books um, about autism. And so we wanted to, we just saw you speak again. Um, in your mind, what did well? What did you do to reclaim the mother, the, your motherhood, and the emotions behind what happened to your son? That's such a good question. So we talked a lot about that today in terms of guilt and shame, and I think that's I think that's actually where you start. Is you start with looking at yourself, right? Because we, if, and I say it all the time, which is until we heal ourselves, it's going to be really hard to to help our child heal, right? So I think that's where you begin, is you, you just look at those deep emotions and you're willing to see them with a clear eye and you're also willing to dig through them and work on them and get past them and just at the end of the day realize that it's just, it's a lie, right? Like it's a lie that we feel shameful, that we didn't know something or we didn't do something right and you just move forward. How did yeah. you work through that emotion? Yourself. Just recognizing it, honestly. Finally having the recognition that, oh, I feel like I did something wrong. I feel like it was my fault. And that's just a lie. Yeah. It's just recognizing it and being willing to move past it. Right. Yeah. Do you feel like you can do both, like work on yourself and the emotions while you're recovering totally. your child? You can. Yes, you can. But it is really important to work on yourself. I know. Yeah. I, I work through that emotion yeah. all the time. Yeah. And I've had epiphanies here. Yeah. I didn't under didn't know the gut and brain yeah. connection. Yeah. And I was watching Dr. Ollie. Yeah. yeah. And the poop. Yeah. I feel you exactly. sister. Yeah. So um, my son's yeah. poop used to like go through yeah. his pull up. Yeah. And when he was on medicine, yeah. his poop formed. Yeah. And I kept saying to the doctor, like yeah. Why? Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's weird. But no, I right. was still like in the system. I yeah. was still in the system when I did yeah. nothing. Yeah. And then I started making changes just because they made sense to me. Yeah. Like our food, I made one change. Mm -hmm. Like our first change was peanut butter. Yeah. Like just yeah, just one step at a time. Just one step. And I was in that symposium, mm -hmm. and he was talking about the brain gut connection. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my yeah. god, I did that. Yeah. I, was I just didn't. Really? Well, and we don't know, so you just have to kind of be willing to right. recognize that and move past it and make the commitment to move past it. Right. Yeah. Well, I think I, I appreciate your books. Yeah, I have little notes. Thank you. I took the notes to my doctor, my naturopath, and I was like, what do you think about this? What Can we do this? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. You know, I had like a whole notebook yeah. of, of things. Yeah. So you positively affect people. Oh, and thank, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. And appreciate I, it. I have one more question. Yeah. What is your favorite oil? Oh, ooh, probably Sacred Mountain. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yep. All right, this is Robin taking us back to the roots. Um, and so for me, coaching with Brandon has helped me to relate to people better and understand how, when, how I'm talking to them and how they're talking to me and to take down some walls because 
this business is relationships and it's been invaluable. It's very helpful. You told me not to be too perfectionist. Um, she, he said, don't be a perfectionist. I she, is she a perfectionist, guys? <laughs> My man, she a perfectionist? Yeah, that was one of so my it's, things. So here's the cool thing about what it's you're really not. Yeah, you got. I got to have the mic, right? <laughs> it's it's not. <laughs> it's not perfection. You're not a perfectionist. It's brain, right? Because brain's always encouraging us to survive. And so, in your version of survival, in your brain, it's saying, "I need to do it perfect in order for me to probably be enough." Because there's only, we were only born with two fears, right? What are the two, do you guys know the two fears we're born with? What are the two fears you're, you're born with? Only two fears, falling and loud noises. What if today, like what if that were your only two fears? <laughs> Perfection comes from, well, two fears that we get later in life, which are being enough and being loved. Yep. So then we do everything in the world to try to be enough. And my guess is that's why you try to be perfect so you can be enough. Because if you're not enough, you won't be loved. And we have to be loved because it's oxygen for our soul. So our brain knows that. So we're like always trying to be enough. Always trying to be enough. And tell everybody the name of your business. BrandonBarberCoaching.com. So this is Robin bringing bring us back to the roots. Hey, this is Julia Well, the Ninja Oiler. And I'm here with Joseph Young. Hello, The one and only. We saw him speak yesterday. He's absolutely amazing. So you just graduated from high school? I did. I did. And it's exciting because now I'm free. Kind of. I mean, now I got college. Now I got soccer. I got all these things ahead of me. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the challenge. But yes, I'm done with high school. That's awesome. So I have an important question because I have a soccer player who is playing uh, college ball. And I'm trying to instill in him some good nutrition uh, practices, some good uh, things to do pre-game, post-game. Do you have any advice? Well, what I do when I play games is one, take Nitro and Ninks Red with me every single time. In a big canister, make sure there's water in one canister, other canister, Ninks Red, and then a box of Nitro. So then I'll never run out. I always bring with that feed feed game. And I always stretch. Make sure you do 20 minutes of stretching, 15 minutes of stretching before you touch the ball. Before you touch the ball. So no juggling, no passing, only 15 minutes of stretching and then you play with the ball. And make sure you gain those liquids. Make sure you have water. Because if you're dehydrated, you're not gonna do as well. And make sure you're focused, that your mind's not anywhere else but the game. And make sure that you're a good team player and a leader. Making sure you lead by example and be a good sportsman. So play with the heart, play with the mind, be smart, but also be yourself, express yourself. Play the game that we all love. So, but I also like to take amino wise after I'm done doing a workout. Also a protein shake. And now with the new power mill out, I'm for sure gonna add that to my regimen. And now put colazole all over your legs and put the CBD oil too. Just get it in there, Rob. Also, get a massage gun. Those massage guns are so good. It's painful, but it's good. So, what position do you play? I play right wing, but my coaches in Spain want me to play left. So I'm eager to see what happens, where I stay, where I play. But, but I love to run, I love to attack, and I love to have the team win. If anything I can do, pass the ball, cross it, anything. So, what, what shot did you do at the bar? I did red shot with frankincense Ooh, and nice, nice. Awesome. So two drops of red shot, two drops of frankincense okay. at the bottom, and fill it up with Nick Shred. And that's been the most popular one I've been doing. That's great. Thank you for your time, Joseph. We Thank you for having me. This is Julia Well. Going back to our with Julia Well, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with Steve Pitcher. And I'm so excited to talk to you. You have a long history with Young Living, but can you tell me what your um, original career was and kind of take us through your journey? Well, my original career was in aerospace engineering. So I designed and launched rockets all over the world. I like SpaceX does now, but 30 years ago. That's awesome. So we launched. You're from Florida, so. Are you? Yeah. So <laughs> Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's where I launched. Yeah. And White Sands Missile Range, and then other places all over the world. So, you know, I've always been involved in high tech enterprises, uh, anything from biomedical to rockets to people, health and nutrition, at young living. And so that's why I was eventually made. R&D director, director of new product development, 
director of manufacturing. Wow. So I had all those roles and operations director. So I started oh out as word. ops director in 2002 and then kind of progressed. And at one time I had three director positions. <laughs> at Amazing. the same time oh my gosh you know, back when we Let's did see. everything at right, Young Living. right. So, so and what what year was that when so you were doing that i started in 99 okay. and i finished in early 2010. what drew you to young living gary young okay so i lived in his neighborhood in alpine ah, no and way. my father and he were best friends oh. so i knew him very well and he invited me to come the first thing was to help automate the distillery, which we never ended up doing because he had so many other projects. And he decided maybe let the distillery just everything be done by by hand, you know, by trained people that who he trained. He didn't want to train a computer to do it, so he changed his mind. I love right. it. I love it. So, so tell us about Ningxia Red. That's one of my favorite products. I use it every single day. What is your favorite Ningxia Red concoction that you make? Or do you like it just straight? Well, I love Ningxia Red, but we would take the dried powder, which was the dried wolfberry powder, mm -hmm. Lyceum Barbarum powder. Okay. And we would put it in all sorts of things, chewable tablets, and just other ways of exploring how we can get people to take it. Because not everybody drank the juice. At the time, they thought it was too tart, or it tasted too different, or whatever, and so we'd put it in other things. That's wow. In addition to that, we took the oil from the seeds, and that, to this day, is in several topical and uh, cosmetic products. Nice. Wow. So, awesome. Well, we thank you so much for your time, yeah. and we appreciate all you poured into Young Living and all the members. So thank yeah. you. Thank okay. you so much. Nice to see I you. I was wondering, because it's back to the roots, maybe you could share the story about creating um, Pro Plus, if yes. you're allowed to. So I is the first time I spoke for Young Living. Gary asked me to speak at Minneapolis. Were any of you there in Minneapolis? Yeah, yeah. Wow, good congratulations. And uh, I spoke in this little side room in the morning. There were like 30 people in there. But apparently word got out. And when I spoke again that night, right at the, one of the last speeches, someone was on main stage, but I was here. But no one was over in that room. They all came over and crowded into <laughs> our room. And I was kind of blown away. But there, literally, probably five or 600, 700 people were in that little bitty room. And... Um, and I spoke, and Gary came in, and he sat there, and the president, I can't remember who it was back then, but, um, and then he said, let's do lunch tomorrow. So I did lunch. My wife and I, it was really weird, because they, they were treating us so well. They, they drove us around in a limo, and they gave us a suite and all this, which is, they never did again. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, so we met with them. My wife was talking to Mary, and Mary said she liked Progestin's cream, but she needed to use a lot of it. There had to be a better way to do it. And I said, let my husband, he's designed, because I had designed products for years for other companies, like New Skin and other companies, stuff like that. Okay. And, um, and so Gary said, uh, he talked to R&D, and she picture was of R&D, I think, at the time. So we had a contest. Mark Schroeder and I each developed a progesterone product, and the highest level on the same person won. Wow. So, we, so he marked it his. I, then a week later, we would go to wash out, and I did my Progestus Plus on him, and I won. I was about four times higher than he was, so I won, and so it became Progestus Plus. That is so amazing. Gary added some more oils to it, and so it got his kiss of, of, of blessing, and there it is. Wow, that is a great, great, great story. Yeah. What is your favorite oil? Lemon. Wow! Really? Yeah, lemon or orange. Okay, cool. Well, I I, we, I watch your show. We love your banter with Brecken and Jackson. <laughs> and you're so funny. And we always tell our people at our hormones classes to go watch you. And we really, really appreciate you and your Thank books you. and your information. So this is Robin wrapping it up. Oily Wiz with Denise Purser. She is the wife of Dr. Purser. <laughs> the people that we watch on, not TV, Facebook. And actually podcasts. Yep. Yes, that's correct. Can you share with us one of your favorite stories with Gary, Mary, Dr. Purser, and you? Um, I remember having lunch with Gary and Mary several years ago in Minneapolis. And um, I don't even know if it's a story, but it was my first time meeting Gary like face to face. And he was, he's a little guy, but he's a giant man. 
and so is Mary. She's an amazing, and she was so soft-spoken, and I just, like, I want to be like her. And her love and support of her husband and her love of everyone was real and sincere, and that was palpable. And I just thought, I'm just going to channel a little Mary, and, you know, it, it's so easy to be kind. It's so easy to be helpful, and you it doesn't canker your soul if you're not. Then So I think that was, like, my most biggest takeaway from the both of them is their genuine sincerity and kindness for everybody. So that's awesome. I mean, you guys have that too. Your whole family, what they give to all of us every week is really, really special. You're so sweet. <laughs> really nice. We love all of you. That's You keep us going and we're so thankful to be here and help in any way we can. And whatever we don't know, we find out. We dive deep. And that's been Dan's biggest thing and success is doing just that. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So nice to meet both of you. Thank you. You. This is Robin uh, bringing us back to the roots. Hey, it's Julie with the Ninja Oiler, and I am here with Lori Azarella. How are you doing today? I am so happy to be with you, Julie Yay! and Robin, and here at Young Living Convention. Yay. She has magic fingers, and um, I wanted to ask you a question. What came first, the foot or the oils? Ah, the foot always comes first. Yeah, foot, com foot comes first, and then the oils. And the reason, so fascinating, because being a reflexologist for, what, 35 years now? Wow. Yeah. I, I don't look that old, do I? Seriously, no. no. <laughs> but anyways, as, as the society gets more congested, as we get inundated with all the pollutions and the attacks on our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies, the essential oils added to the reflexes of the feet with intention and purpose are the keys to unblocking that congestion. So it's so, I can't wait to put Roots, Roots essential oil on the feet. I know! Oh, I I'm like, I'm like, uh, what that's going to do, make sure it's on the bottom of your feet and then you will feel that energy because we are connected to this earth. And so that's what reflexology teaches us. We have to connect, we have to be present in order. Okay, for the whole systems of the body to function, to really flourish and work together and communicate. So uh, I you... volunteer to be the person that does the reflexology. <laughs> <I'm volunteer laughs> so yes. are you? Are you the founder of Reflex Oilogy? Yes, I founded Reflex Oilogy. I've been doing Reflexology for many years with the oils since I was introduced to them in 1998. So I have been with Young Living for a very long time, and believe me, I used many, many, many other companies' oils. And nothing, nothing works on the feet. No competitor, nothing. Because what you're talking about is a life force frequency. Mm. So I teach in singles, so I don't offend anybody, but I always gear them toward the premium life force essential oils that I call. That is so cool. And I personally have taken, um, I guess, the skeletal system and the muscular system from Lori. And um, it has been life changing just in my family to use it as a tool. That is the only way my kids will allow me to put the oils on them, and it is amazing. So you've been a blessing to, I mean, thousands of people, but personally, I just am so grateful. Yeah, it touches my heart, and that's really what it's all about. So for all my Young Living family, please get involved with Reflex Oilogy, and it's not just about putting those oils on the feet. There's much, much, much more to that. We want to understand how our Creator created our body to function in the purpose and the perfection to which he created it. So the earth meets the feet. That's so great. Thank you for your time. This is Julie Atwell, the Ninja Oiler, going back to our roots. Hi, it's Julie Atwell, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with... Uh, uh, the, the crazy clogging guy. <laughs> Wait. Oh, seriously? Did you go up and clock with all the... Look at this. <gasps> what? We, I didn't get to see it because I was with Dr. Purser. You missed corner. out. No way. Oh, my gosh. It's recorded, though, so we'll get to see it. Yeah, that is, you can I, watch it later. Okay. The many hidden talents of John Wetton. I like, only have two talents. Right only two. Nope. 
Multiple. He's multifaceted. Hardly, hardly. Right. And this is Ka this is Karen. I'm Karen Douglas, at Young Living Diamond. Yay! Hello. Hi. We're so happy to be with you. Thank you for taking the time. Um. So, how long have you been in the Young Living? I have been a part of Young Living for 20 years. Okay. Wow. So, you guys probably have a ton of Gary stories. I want you to share, and something that Gary was like, "Can we pull this off?" And you were like. What or when you saw it at convention, you're like, whoa. Okay, one of the crazier ones <laughs> was uh, when Gary wanted to go on stage with with uh, sled dogs. Yep, and yeah. he said, "Are you kidding me? Those those things can poop anywhere." <laughs> and uh, so they had the poop team to clean up just in case. And uh, yeah, and it was wild. And they had to build like a special sled with a, a brake to slow them down and uh, it was it was pretty crazy. It was he wearing his full He was he was gun. he was dressed down and he pulled that stuff off and he was sweaty underneath. Right. Because it right? was hot. <laughs> I have actually been phenomenally just in awe of all of the stage performances that Gary ever did. From the dog sledding to the, he swung from something one time. Yeah, he kind of like, like flew in. They hung yes, him on a wire. Yes. Was it like it a was death line? Like, <laughs> something, whatever it was. He had a special suit so the wires could come through. Yes. The harness. Yeah. Yes, because he had on a regular suit. But of course he was all harnessed in. But it was amazing, so amazing. And then when he drove his car on stage. Oh yeah. You know, the, the, <laughs> the nitro the car. Yeah, I mean, that was amazing. So that's the kind of stuff that I just, I so remember. But Gary just was always... You never knew what to expect, but you knew that what was going to happen was going to be something exciting, majorly exciting. Yeah. So cool. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Karen Douglas. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm going to ask you what your favorite oil is today. What do you have uh, on? You know, I kind of like to go uh, Kobayiba. Oh, nice. nice one. Okay. Because all that clogging has caused um, some uh, <laughs> minor joint <laughs> discomfort. Discomfort. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And you know what? The Copaiba uh, just felt good. That's all. That's awesome. Yeah. What awesome. about you, Karen? My oil that I'm wearing right now that I absolutely love is Highest Potential. Wow. Nice. That's oh, a common Highest that's Potential. Great. It smells amazing. And well, I really try to. Gary on oh, by yeah. using highest potential. <laughs> That's right. That That's, I like that term. Yeah. I love it. Thank you both for taking the time. Thank you. Yes. Hi, this is Julie Apple, the Ninja Oiler, and I'm here with Melissa Pepping. Hi, Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to speak with you. Um, we saw that you spoke um, upstairs at uh, Life and Science, but yes. I wanted to ask you a very specific question about teens and getting them excited about clean makeup and because it is so important and for them to realize the importance of putting non-toxic things on their face. Absolutely. So body. the best place to start is just helping them understand cause and effect. So if they're going to use conventional products that have conventional ingredients, help them understand the effects that's going to have on their body, especially long term. Just ask them, where do you want to see your health in 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now? And that has to start today. That has to start now. Uh, I remember being in my teens and reading an article in Cosmo magazine. Uh, it was an interview with Cindy Crawford, and she said, if you want great skin, you have to start before the age of 25. And so I started a solid skincare routine while I was in high school, and that has continued to stay with me. That's amazing. Wow. So how did you know where to start, though? Did you, like, I'm going to develop a routine with a cleansing, a toner, and, like, how did you well, know really how to do that? Well, I just started with washing my face. I mean, there wasn't the information then, and, of course, I was a teenager, so I didn't have the money, but I just made sure that I took my skincare routine serious. I didn't go to bed with makeup on. I made sure that I washed my face a couple times a day and took care of it. It wasn't until Young Living introduced their beauty school concept that I learned about the proper steps in a skincare routine and how to use our products in the right manner. So I highly recommend and get into that. The next one is August in Texas. I'll be teaching, so I hope to see you there. Ooh, that's great. Yeah. Is it in Dallas? Of Dallas. Course? Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yep. That's great. All right. Thank you so much for your thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you. This is Julie going back. Hi. This is Robin, the oily whiz with Lauren Bretz, and she is my brown diamond. And we're so happy to be with her here in the oily room. <laughs> So, since we're here and it's back to the roots, not I put lots of oils on. <laughs> so, what is your what did you just put on? I put on nutmeg, angelica, surrender, favorite oil, frankincense, by far, by far, always frankincense forever. 
Wow, that's awesome. All right, so can you tell us a story, your favorite story about Gary and Mary? Gary and Mary. Um, I remember touring the old, um, the old warehouse years ago, and we were all on this tour. And at the end of the tour, Gary and Mary were there, and it was a surprise. And I started crying, and Gary started crying, <gasps> and hugged me so tight. And I just looked at him, and I was like, thank you so much for what you've provided. And I told him the story about my son and how the oils have helped my son breathe. And he was just, it was as if he was hearing that story. It was like the only time he had ever, you know what I mean? And you know that people told him something like that all the time. Yeah. He was so kind and so precious. And then when I walked for Diamond and Crown Diamond across the stage, and he and Mary were there hugging, they both said to me, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for everything that you do. They were just so, and I'm like, no, thank you. Thank you. They're so gracious. So gracious. That's awesome. Can you, do, would you mind sharing why you started boiling? Yeah, I was desperate. I was totally desperate. I was up all the time with my son who couldn't breathe. He had asthma. Um, I had been using a nebulizer, like an albuterol nebulizer, every four hours around the clock. Didn't help. And I was, I just needed some, something. And Corey told me that I needed to try essential oils. And I was like, nope, I already tried those. They gave my son an asthma attack because I tried two other brands. And she was like, you haven't tried Young Living yet. You need to try it. And I was like, I don't want to try another brand. But I did because I was desperate. And within two weeks, he was breathing. And I put the nebulizer away and never had to use it again. And then also started using oils on myself and started sleeping better. And I had less anxiety. And I was happier. And I had no idea that the oils would help me emotionally so much, mentally, emotionally. That was a huge surprise because I was so focused on the physical. So, yeah. That's awesome. Did yeah. You that? I always talk about the emotional component because that's where I need a lot of support. Yep. Especially at night. I like to rotate. Yeah. Surrender and transformation. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And release. Yeah. yeah. Rotate them. So. Yeah. Love it. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes. Well, this is Robin bringing us back to the roots. Hi. This is Robin, the oily whiz with... Carrie McVeigh, and we are here at convention. Carrie, at least it's wrong. Carrie, tell me a favorite memory of convention for you. Getting to meet and talk with people from around the world and hear their stories is always like my favorite. But I've been to so many conventions, I have too many to think of just one. Well, tell us a favorite memory about Gary or Mary. One of my favorite memories of Gary is the very first time I met him, which was at uh, St. Mary's, Idaho, back in 2010. And Gary came into this conference room and challenged all of us to think bigger. And he did that by saying, okay, everybody, write down how many people are in your organization, and then he said, okay, I want you to cross that number out and double it. And then, then he asked um, how many people that we wanted in our organization, write that number down. And then he said, okay, cross that number out and double it. And now triple it. And they said, y'all are still not thinking big enough. And I love that because he got us thinking bigger and realizing that, you know, if two people share with two people, who share with two people, who share with two people, before you know it, you have thousands of people. So on that day, I wrote down that I wanted 1,000 faith-walking, faith-talking people in my organization. And then I thought, wow, that is, that's more than I can imagine. And then last year, that number went over 300,000. Oh, my goodness, Carrie. What? Yes. So think big like Gary taught. Oh, my gosh. I know that was a business question, but Carrie is such an amazing healer. She's such a blessing to all of us. I just love her so much. And my son loves her. So I know I didn't say this, but can you, um, can you share with us what you like about being such a great healer? 
I love nothing more than to help people process their deepest wounds so that they have peace and that they know who the author of that piece is. Wow, awesome. That's perfect. One more question. What's your favorite oil? Sisters. <laughs> oh, yes. I could have guessed that one. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. Okay. Yeah. Sisters is always near my heart. I, I'm always wearing Sistus. Do you smell it while you wear it? I do. I, I put it over my heart. I put it right here under my nose. I put it on my heart reflex points because Sistus just makes me feel so grounded and loved and secure. That's amazing. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. This is Robin bringing us back to the roots.